Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing on the best of one standard ranked ladder with a Slokirk Armageddon list. So basically we are just using the Soul Cauldron, uh, Sleep Cursed Fairy, Kami of Whispered Hopes mana combo to go off with either Slogurk or Titania. So if Titania is on the backside, she can just make infinite uh, land creatures, and Slogurt can bounce himself to the hand, returning something like a Baseyuan Otawara to repeatedly trigger him over and over as you blow up your opponent's lands and return all of their permanents to their hand. Baseyu can destroy all of the non-basics, so if opponent tries to fetch up a Triome, you can just blow that up too. Most decks in standard aren't going to be running a ton of basics, except for mono red, mono white, mono blue. I mean, the, the mono colored decks. Uh, most of the two color decks, they're just going to run a handful, so you can really kneecap pretty much any strategy that wants to stick around through all the clicks. Vohar and Arona give us two different looting outlets to put underneath the cauldron. We have some counter magic in the form of Urtai, and some pesky planeswalker removal. Jace the Perfected Mind is here to fill up our own graveyard, sometimes triggering our Gurk. And the Sky Turtle is in here to grab things like the cauldron out of the graveyard if your opponent's gonna destroy them. And last but not least, we have Seed of Hope. This is an incredibly powerful card in the shell. We get to gain a little bit of life. If you have Titania out, you get to gain a ton of life. Uh, it fills up the graveyard for the cauldron, and you can rebuy some pieces if you need to. All in all, this deck was a ton of fun to play on the ladder, and it feels very competitive. So if you guys are excited to see this list in action, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, as I'd really appreciate it. I upload to YouTube five days a week with standard content just like this, uh, so if you don't mind subscribing, I am still trying to get my channel partnered, so I'd really appreciate it. And with all that said, let's hop onto the ladder and see how this does. Alrighty, game one. Um, the hand is decent. Sleep Cursed Fairy is going to have to come down on turn two, but still think it's a keep. And opponent is of course going to be playing mono red. Let's get down the fairy and the tapped land. I think here we just play out the Kami since they're holding open, you know, some sort of removal spell. Don't want to get the Gurk destroyed while we don't have land. And I think I want to save Titania for, you know, responding to some sort of kill spell with the Seed of Hope. So, Kami's the most expendable. Plus, getting this in the graveyard for the uh, eventual cauldron is always a good idea. And Godric. Let's play out Takanuma and Titania. And there's a lightning strike. And you have a play with fire as well. Rough. Let's Seed of Hope. We'll grab Urtai. And we'll gain a little bit of life. Let's play a Dark Slick Shores. And I think we just hold open Urtai. We could play Gurk and another Fairy, but if they do two permanents next turn and Godric flies over, we're just going to be taking a bunch of damage. So I think we hold open the counter and kill.
Let's go with the Urtai. We'll just take out Kodrick here. And we go to 12. We top deck a Cauldron though. So that can get the Kami out of the graveyard. And... Well, let's make a bunch of mana, I guess. Let's play the Gurk. And the last fairy. Um, I mean, yeah, that's fine. We'll grab our plaza. And we will pass. Urbrask's Forge. Not bad, but we have definitely pulled ahead here. Let's go to combat. And in for seven. And we will pass. Charming Scoundrel. And they go with a wicked roll. Let's block like that. <laughs> GG's. Yeah, not much they could do there. Nice. Alrighty, next game. Um, I think it's keepable. The question is, do we go with Shigeki or Ronan too? And opponents leading off with Rafine's Tower. Let's go with our tapped land. And they play a dog. Okay, I'm just gonna draw all of the Argoths, I guess. So, do we go Rona or Shigeki? If we play Shigeki, possibly next turn we can play Titania. If not, we can just play another tapped Argoth and Rona. So, think we want to do that. And opponent's gonna fire off a Faithful Mending. 
So they looking for land or they just trying to set up for reanimation. And they discard a Troxa and an Emperor. And there's a tapped land. And back to us. So do we want to Soul Cauldron and just steal that? It doesn't seem like a terrible idea. They're not going to be able to get a Trox out of the graveyard on turn 4, so not worried about that yet. Hopefully they don't have a Void Rend or something of the likes for this whole cauldron. And opponent's going to Resto Iganjo. Let's go with Argoth, and we'll get the Rona down. Let's pass. We could have exiled the Atroxa on our turn to play around any stuff, but I don't know what they would have to reanimate it this turn. Yeah, we'll let them have their land, just in case they have a Cruelty of Gex or something. And back to us. And let's activate Shigeki. Let's grab the plaza. Let's activate the cauldron. We'll go for our Kami. We'll cast our Titania with the Rona Mana. We'll play Shigeki. And we'll go with Vohar. We'll channel. And we'll grab a Gurk. And we'll play it. And let's channel again. Um, we'll grab second Titania. And we can transform Rona. Let's pass. Eternal Wanderer. Interesting. That's definitely not great. And I suppose that's fine. We're probably going to keep Vohar. Let's put you back in the hand. What's under here? I got just a copy. Let's... We can go with 
Shigeki. Yeah, let's just go with Shigeki. And let's go with Titania. Let's pass. Opponent's gonna play a land and the restoration. So, if we go for Takanuma right now, they're probably just going to kill Titania. So I think we just go back to us. I mean, that's fine. Let's play a Kami. And we'll exile the Gurk. That'll put two counters on Vohar. And we can attack for four. I think we just pass here. I don't really want to play Titania out into, you know, a sweeper. If they want to just sweep these two things, that should be fine. Sure, there's a dog. And a Troxa. That's not great. Let's go with Takanuma now. And we'll take the Gurk. Let's exile our Sleep Cursed Fairy. And counter up on Vohar. Now we can make a ton of mana. Just gotta be careful that we don't accidentally activate the Gurk ability. And opponent concedes. GG's. I mean, I don't know if we had, you know, enough to kill him there, but let's see. Yeah, no Basayu's in the yard, so we could have at least odawara everything back to the hand, but yeah, we didn't have the Armageddon part down. We had everything else. GG's. That was a really fun game. Alrighty, next game. Um, this hand is decent, we need some black mana, but we have cauldrons and arona for turn 2. Definitely a keep. And if you stuck around until this point in the video, you uh, get a surprise face cam. <laughs> so, just got it in the mail, and wanted to get it set up for my VTuber that I'm going to be getting soon. So, what better way to test it than in a video? Looks like we're going to be going against Golgari today. I mean, we got stuff in the hand. Let's loot. Do we go with the cauldron and the fairy? Or... I think we go Cauldron, and we can discard the Kami. And we'll play a Fairy. We have another. And another. 
Let's play out the Gurk. And we're gonna cycle the Paseus. Let's play the next Cauldron. And we're gonna keep that just in case. What's in here? Vohar. Let's start the beat down. And a Shelly. <laughs> Beautiful. We don't have any black mana though, so... Definitely not great. And Dark Slick Shores might have been nice. and no creatures to exile. We can get the Takanuma in the bin by looting, so let's go like that. Sure. I think we have to discard the cauldron. Let's pass. Glissa. Not ideal. How do we beat that? I don't know if we can really without just countering that which is not great and the dread knight we will eat the glissa and do we just go on the ferry or do we spread out the counters? Probably on the ferry. So Ota just costs one. jam. And no creatures, right? Yeah, that's fine. And we'll counter on Gurk so we can bounce him to the hand. Let's pass. If opponent just plays Shelly here, they died at the ferry. We have a 6-6 six, six Trampler, and Rora can turn into a 5-5 five, five Trampler. So, think we got it. And opponent agrees. GG. Alrighty, next game. Um, hand is decent. Mana's a little awkward for the curve, but we'll try it out. Let's go with Rona, and looking like probably Golgari again. And down goes Rona. I think we just go with the Cauldron, or do we double Seed of Hope? Might be better to, to double Seed of Hope, set up for the next land drops, and fill up the grave for the cauldron. Yeah, let's pass. And 
and unfortunately there goes Rona. And we'll grab some lands. Let's go with the cauldron and the fairy. And we will pass. Let's eat our fairy. And Glissa is pretty good. Let's play Titania. And we just have to pass. We'll take three. Unfortunate, but uh, they can't destroy an artifact with Glissa, so not the end of the world. Too bad they didn't want to remove the stun counters from our fairy for us. And a tortoise. Let's eat their swamp, just so their tortoise can, you know, bring less lands back. And there's a Takanuma. channel <laughs> I mean not exactly what I wanted there I kind of wanted that to go into the graveyard but uh <laughs> okay we'll play it and we will pass Gix's command that's not ideal. Okay. Yeah, just two cut downs. Alright, we will sacrifice the fairy. Let's take our block. No, we'll keep the Kami out just so we can give it the Sleep Curse Fairy ability next turn. Let's let Glissa hit so they don't have the chance to remove the two counters we're going to put on. Let's go with the tortoise, since we already have a Sleep Cursed Fairy underneath there. So... Let's make a bunch of mana.
and we can activate both of the Argoths, trigger Titania a couple times, and get her ready to melt. Plus we have the plaza, cool. Let's pass. Let's go to attacks. So, we don't have a Kami underneath, so pretty free chump there. I mean, let's, we'll make some mana, just so we can just float too. Just to scare him. Another tortoise. Okay. Well, we are gonna get the meld off. So, unfortunately, we don't really have a whole lot. Um, so, Cauldron can let us untap. We can grab a Kami for mana. Yeah, I think we just grab a Kami for mana. Oh, perfect. Let's go like this, we can animate all of our lands. I didn't even think of that, that's amazing. Let's go to combat, and get in. GG's. This deck is so dumb. I love it. <laughs> game thoughts for everybody. I think this deck is incredibly powerful. Um, there is so many different lines that you can take with the slow gurk and all of the channel lands, plus just being able to make infinite mana with the Kami fairy combo with the cauldron. Really powerful. You can just kind of dump your hand, transform Ronas, animate some lands, blow things up. It, it's crazy. Uh, so this deck is really powerful. One of the only changes that I would make to this is putting in Ren and Realm Breaker in the main board. Just because it's very powerful, it does help with the mana situation with this, which this deck sometimes does struggle with. Might consider changing out a Jace and or Sky Turtle. Maybe a Vohar. I do like the one of Shigeki in here to give us just a, you know, random different ability to put under the cauldron and rebind things like plazas. And the uh, Colossal Sky Turtle is really powerful since you can kind of just loop the Shigeki and the Sky Turtle. Uh, so yeah, thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.